Welcome to Someone Share. I'm Sherry. Today I am going to be sharing with you all of my thrift store finds. Um, if you have watched my other videos, you probably have seen all the things that I've made or am planning to make, um, how many times I got it at thrift stores. Um, I just want to, you know, show you guys that really sewing doesn't have to be expensive. There are cheaper ways, um, you know, if you can't spend the money or don't want to spend the money. Or I don't work, so we live off of my husband's income. So that does not give me a lot of money um, to spend on fabric. It's not like I can go buy fabric and patterns and all the sewing stuff um, when I want. So I try to save as much as I can. Um, so thrifting is, you know, it, it, it's what they have that day. So you don't always find something you want. Um, and you don't have to do it every day. You don't have to do it a lot. Um, I thrift like once a week. Um, two times maybe sometimes, but I do not go a lot. It's not like I'm gone all the time thrifting. So. I am just going to show you some of my fabric skirts that I have found. This is just some, um, but just to give you an idea, what I, the fabric that I purchased, that I'm usually lucky enough to find it for a dollar a yard, two dollars a yard at the most, is what I get my fabric for. So I have been needing a lot of knits, so lately I have been looking for knits and been lucky. Um, so I found like this, just just a double knit, um, just a blue double knit. I think there's like a yard and a quarter um, on it, so just enough to make a t-shirt. But okay, I, don't want. Um, I have also found this, which I love. This is um, just a drapier knit. Um, I'm going to make a shirt out of that. You can probably tell that blue is like the color I love. And I found this knit, which this knit, I might make a dress out of it if it's not, it doesn't really look too see-through. Um, this I paid $3 for, and I there's three yards here, so there's quite a bit here. Um, I also... Well, I uh, was very happy because I need a slip, and I was thrifting, and I found, like, I have another one, too, but I found this fabric for slips, so I was pretty happy with that, and I only paid a buck for it. Um, I also wanted to copy this dress. This is a ready-to-wear dress, but I, I got it a long time ago, and I just love it, and I wanted to copy it, so it's just a short, sleeveless, you know, dress. And I just lucked out and happened to find some really, okay, like the same same fabric as the dress, and I paid a couple bucks for it. So I think I'm going to try to copy it on this one first, and then go to this one. But I just thought that would be really cute as, you know, a dress. Um, I have found what we I found this almost like satin um, fabric this was a couple bucks I think it was like a buck fifty for each so three dollars for the whole all of it and I'm going to make a nightgown for me and I'm gonna make um, lounge pants and like maybe a cam or cami or whatever you call them a little jacket sure there's something to go over um, I found this fabric that's more, it's like silky, and there's three yards in both of them. So I know, I know right now this one, I am going to be making a shirt. I just think that would be a really cute shirt. Um, this one I don't know yet, but I do have three yards of each, so there is quite a bit there. Um, I also, did I put over here like I found this 
um, just a little slinkier print. I thought I could make a good camel, cami or a, a tank top with it because there's only a yard there. So it's not a lot of fabric. Um, not a lot of fabric there, but I liked it. That was like 75 cents, I think. Um, I just have some sheer fabric I found for, you know, like I said, a buck is, two bucks a yard is the most. This, I think, was, God, I don't even think it was a dollar a yard. It was pretty reasonably priced. Um, and I also luck out, too, because I can also find lining, um, which I really like, too, because then I don't, you know, spend as much money. So whenever I find lining fabric, I'll try to pick it up. Um, so I have that laying around. Um, and then I found this. I really like this. It's just a cotton, but I thought this would be really cute for a dress. Um, you can see that, you know, I do, I have plenty more fabric, and I can find it for very reasonably priced. Um, but other things that I purchase, I do purchase a lot, you know, of other things I can find at the thrift stores, too, that helps um, save money. And one is, you, you guys probably know this already, but one is patterns. Um, I can find patterns from 25 cents, you know, to a dollar. Um, I usually try to stay... Me, myself, this is me personally, I don't like to spend more than 50 cents or 75 cents for a pattern. I don't like to spend a dollar, because sometimes I think that they go on sale for a dollar or for a dollar ninety-nine, so then I just buy them brand new sometimes. But unless it's, a, unless it's something that, um, like an older pattern or something that I've really been looking for, and I found it, and they don't sell that anymore, then I will um, pay that price for it. But the one thing about patterns that if you do purchase them used, sometimes you can get really lucky and sometimes they are not even used. You get a brand new pattern um, and that's really nice. But if they are used, you want to um, open it up and check. Um, check, I always check for the size to make sure because they are, lots of them are multi-sized and I want to make sure that they're either cut to my size that I need or bigger, not smaller. Um, I also check to make sure that all the pattern pieces are there, um, instructions, everything is there, um, that it's also in good shape, that they're not ripped or, you know, um, stuff like that. Um, I, you know, you take your chances if you don't check because I was in a hurry, um, you know, that's happened sometimes where I've just been in a hurry and need to leave, so I'll just grab them and pay for them, like these, this pattern. I had purchased one, brand new, um, at Joann's and I just really loved it because it fit my daughter very well, so... I was at a thrift store, and I saw one, and I thought, well, for 50 cents, I'm going to pick up and have another copy. Um, and then I got it home, and I was going through the pattern pieces, and the only pattern pieces that were missing were the ones for the pants, and that's the reason why I wanted it. So that's a chance you take if you don't check. Um, yeah. I also had one time... You know, the pattern piece was like the cut, like cut all weird. That's the only time that ever happened. And like, what? How is this cut? But <laughs> yeah, that's the only time that ever happened. But I do like to check to make sure that everything's there in a good shape because, you know, I guess if you're spending 50 cents and it's not all there, then that was just a waste of money. That didn't save me any money. That also is for fabric, too. Um, I check the fabric out a lot because sometimes there can be stains on it, sometimes it can be ripped or, or flawed. So when I'm purchasing the fabric, I always like to look at, look at it to make sure that it's in good condition. 
or you know or if it was snagged or stained or something it's in the end spot where I'm going to be using it anyway so yeah that's a little thing you won't want to do is to check it over. Now there are way to save money on sewing too which is really nice if sometimes um, you can get free patterns from the indie pattern companies so like I have um, the, oh, from Deer and Doe, there's a um, plantain, plantain tea shirt. I have that one. Um, I have the Mandy, who's that? I don't know. The Mandy boat tea, if you can see it. That one was a free pattern. Um, the other one's Greenline Studio has the hemlock tea. You guys probably heard you know, of all this, but, um, the Hemlock Tea from Greenline Studio, um, what else, some Summer, you know, the Durango Tank I got, that is from Hey June Patterns, um, By Hands London, the Poly Top. Um, and I know I have, I know I have one from It's to Stitch too. I just don't have it with me. I know there was a top that I have, a t-shirt top. Um, yeah, so you can even get free patterns like this online. Um, that will help save money too. Another thing that I have found um, at thrift stores is I purchased a sewing machine. I'll put a picture up of it. Um, uh, I like it. It was a nice older, I think it was like a Singer Rocketeer sewing machine I found. Um, and it costed $35 for the machine and the um, cabinet. I did have to, you know, I took it in because I wanted it to get tuned up. And there was also, um, it kind of locked up where you had to turn it, so I got that fixed. I think I spent like $75 extra, so you know, that was a $110 or something I spent on it. Um, so if you're looking for, a, you know, a machine, this is my extra machine, um, you know, you can get, you can get a good deal too. You just have to realize that um, sometimes you have to spend money to tune it up and um, that kind of stuff. I like to test it out. I would recommend if you're going to purchase a machine that way to test it out first to make sure that it is working. Um, yeah, but sometimes you can luck out and find a really nice machine for reasonably priced. Supplies, the wing supplies, um, which I have loved. I found this ruler which was on my to get list so when I lucked out you know I was like oh look what I found and it's like I think I paid 375 for it but these are quite you know these can be quite pricey um and then I found this little ruler for 50 cents um I found a little quilting press mat I found this for like I think this was 50 cents or a dollar, something like that. And it's just a little take along quilting, little cut and press mat, which I really liked. And you can tell, you know, not in the, I mean, it's not in great condition, but for what I need it for, you know, it's fine. It's perfectly fine and it works for what I need it for. So for only a dollar, you know, I was pretty happy. I also was pretty happy about this find, because um, I know these can, I think these have cost like 30 bucks. Um, so I was very happy. I, I paid like two bucks for this. And I mean, it's not, you know, like I said, this stuff is used, so it's not in the greatest condition. A little um, chip there, but it's perfectly fine and it works. Um, I have found, you know, storage containers, which I love too. Like, I found this little 
you know, the thread holder. I paid, this one was a buck seventy-five. Um, I have three, three of these all together. Um, but the other ones I didn't pay as much. I think I paid like a buck for the other one, 75 cents for one, something like that. But I just really like them. So, um, I also have f um, found old, or older, um, you put your patterns in them. I, I don't have that with me right now, but if you don't mind the funky colors, um, because this was like, I think in the seventies or so, because the funky colors are, well, this is pink or whatever, but I have a gold one and a green one. And it's like, that seems like that's the color back then. So they are the funky gold and green, but you know, I just love them. And for the price, I'm not complaining. I don't care. That didn't bother me. I also was at, this was lucky. Um, I was at a fabric store. We were out of town. And she had lace and trims. And she was just getting rid of it because she didn't want it anymore. So she told me. She said, just take, pick out what you want and take it. So maybe I'll take a picture of it. Um, I have it over there. I didn't bring it all over here. Um, I have like a lot that I didn't, it was free. And it will get used. So that was lucky. Um, I also find books and I have found a lot of sewing books at thrift stores um, very happy about you know some of my finds like this one um, fitting and pattern alterations I paid 50 cents for this book and it has all you know pattern alterations and fitting and stuff like that. so very happy um, I also bought this fabric savvy book. Oh, I'm so glad to get this book. And I only paid 90 cents for it. Oh, I just love this book. It has all the fabric and um, sewing tips for it, what needles you need, um, special sewing instructions. It just tells everything about the fabric. So yeah, I was happy to get that one. And I also got this Reader's Digest. This is the older one, but still perfectly fine. Um, the Guide to Complete Sewing in this book. This is really a great, um, you know, great guidebook too. And I paid, I paid a buck for this book. So I, I really do have a lot of sewing books that I got um, from thrift stores. I also found um, a sleeveboard, which I was very happy about. Like I said, you know, they're not in the greatest condition. I mean, this cover if I wanted to I could make a new cover but it is perfectly fine I mean it works for what I need it and I paid like 50 cents to 50 cents a dollar for it something like that so you know not complaining at all um and this was a lucky find too because these can be kind of pricey but I paid two bucks for it so I was very happy I mean, you know, stained and stuff, but it works, and it is perfectly fine. It does not, you know, need to be new. And then I also found this, um, this is just a cutting board. Um, you know, it's an older one, and I paid a buck for it. So, yeah, I have many more things. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of some of the stuff that you can get um, if you, you know, are looking and if you just happen to luck out and it is there. Um, yeah, so you can see that I really did end up buying a lot um, and it just really saves a lot of money. Um, so if you, like, purchase some wonderful things or purchase things at thrift store, um, and you want to leave it in the comments below, please do. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see and want to see more sewing related videos, um, please hit the subscribe button below. I am also on Instagram as Sew and Share. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.